Oh, good morning. <laughs> How are you? Nice head shake, that's the typical greeting. I think for now let's just let's just sort of defend ourselves first and get closer in amongst the herd just now. It's always good as you know to first um, first just sort of sit a little bit, give them a bit of their space, let them get the feel of us. And it gives us time to get the feel of what their mood is like. And they're pretty relaxed, this herd is not too worried. It was just a typical sort of greeting slash question that Phil was making. He's shaking ahead, asking us, what's up? What are you doing here? Awesome. I don't recognize it's quite likely to be one of the groups that we're familiar with. But uh, we'll see just now. As soon as more of them come out, maybe we can see the matriarch. Female here to the left that we're looking at now that gave us that first head shake. I think she's likely sort of maybe second or third ranking female. Don't quite think she's the matriarch. Oh, there's a youngster as well in front of us. There you can see Alex already on it. And again, already you can see that they're fairly comfortable. That mother walking along, the calf having a bit of separation between the mother. And that shows that they're not too worried. Oh, yeah, on the left, it's coming to have a look at us. Morning, lady. Good morning. As you can see, she chooses now again. It's a typical thing that elephants do. Choosing to come closer to us as she's feeding. <laughs> the jongo is making a big noise as well, as always. Lots of birds following these big animals around. She's curious. She wants to know what we're about. Such awesome animals. I just you can feel it at the moment. This whole herd slowly come towards us. The other female in front with the youngster, this female at the moment, she's going to come have a look at us very soon. Uh, it's okay. We're very... We're your friends. I must say, actually, now that she came a bit closer, something that typically happens with elephants, she does look a bit bigger. Maybe she is the matriarch. And again. Can you book on for I think I can see a mobile just to the north. Just keep coming. Oh no. The dreaded sound of the batteries. This very cold weather is batteries. I never really want to leave the engine running, but it's something that can extend an extent. Look at that female, she's just thinking of what to do. The little one following mum, close behind. Lovely herd, nice and relaxed. I'm hoping that over the next couple of weeks, especially since I'll be out here a lot on drive, which is something I'm always stoked about. Sorry, stoked is a slang term for very happy. Extremely happy, ecstatic. But uh, hopefully, there'll be lots of Ellie's. <laughs> this female, they're giving a little bit of attitude to the other vehicle joining us. Guys, it might disappear any second. Sorry about that. We, uh, we'll try and come back a little bit later, maybe. Just going to sit here for a bit. 
Let's see how long the batteries can last us. If we do disappear from myself and Alex, thank you very much for joining us. And like I said, we'll, um, we'll go and drive around a little bit, try and get enough space maybe to come back for just a few minutes to say goodbye to you. So it's not goodbye, but if we do disappear, it might be 20 minutes, half an hour before we're back. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. We're just enjoying you. We're really not enjoying this noise of the engine.